Hi there, viewers of the Bebel System channel. My name is Daniel, and today we are going to launch and configure the access control functionality that is a password and a MeFair card authentication ways on the second gen high collision IP intercom system. And we begin. Subscribe to Bebel Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. Although the entire system can be launched, activated, and be work ready with no even PC software like IVMS or Batch, and I mean it's possible to set everything up right here on this monitor in literally four clicks. But if we talk about a more interesting and complex functionality such as a certain kind of an access control system, user cards enrolling, and so on, we cannot do that the whole thing without an IVMS for the hundreds. Although we can set an entry password straight on the monitor itself. But anyways, we will review all the options available that we have. And actually there's a video featuring activation and initial setup of the Hikvision second gen intercom system available behind that prompt in that corner. So yeah, watch it if you've missed it. But our today's goal is to add a card reader module and a keypad module to our high collision intercom system. And well, yeah, here they are. And accordingly, due to these modules, we will create an access control rules for users so that they can authenticate and enter a premise using an individual card and a personal password. Now, let's get down to business. What do we need? One of the last series monitors, I'm gonna use my DS-KH8350 with no Wi-Fi. Next, we need a main module, the door phone itself uses it, because, well, this is the system's basement to which all the additional modules are connected. And, well, regarding the modules, here we have a very classic 1-0 to keypad with an asterisk and a number sign. Well, the second is a Mayfair type card reader. And, by the way, along with an outdoor station, Hikvision puts such Mayfair card for testing. Well, everything is thought out. Although, in the video I'm gonna use mine. Well, I'm sorry, but it's hard to change habits. And the final item on our list, on our set, is a triple bracket as a perfect fit for all three modules that we have. And what's good? The bracket box includes all the required wires and parts for all three modules. Well, except a POE switch or power supply, you always gotta get it separately. Now moving on, we have already disclosed the topic of a setup and a device's quick start and there's a link to that video in the description. But now I want to briefly summarize. So here are devices. The power and a network are supplied via the LEN cable and coming from the POV switch separately to both intercom and the door phone. And the main module and two additional modules, a keypad and a card reader are already fixed in the bracket, which you can definitely see. They are active and connected to each other. And this is how it looks on the back. The LAN with a power and network goes to the main module, here is it. And then this main module kinda distributes this power and connects with the other modules via, the in, via this interface from top to bottom. And well, as you can see, the out uh, goes to the in of the first module, and from here it goes to the module 2 the same way. And also we have displayed this scheme on a dip switches so that we have assigned the unique addresses to every device in the circuit. And about the software part, we actually uh, did nothing here. The modules are already online, connected, and nothing else is needed from the moment of the plug-in. And well, let's imagine also that our system is already connected to the lock. Well, to the door. And since everything is connected, we move on to the configuration part in frames of the option number one, the PC software. All devices are activated and added to the IVMS. There is it, so you can see the KD8003 and KH8350 is the indoor station and the door station that we have seen in, in, uh, previously. Yeah, so uh, now we need, now we need, we'll start by enrolling a card into the system. So we need to go into the person tab. Here is it. And we need to uh, create the organization that will be people, of course. There we go. And from here, we need to add an employee. And well, yeah, person ID one and gonna be Daniel. That'll be mail, email, uh, random one, phone, random. And now in the credential tab, 
what I'm gonna do, I need to read a card and assign it to these users. So yeah, press the plus button, go into the settings, uh, pressing the remote and picking my uh, card reader module. Well, of course, the main uh, door station, but connect it to the card reader and a keypad module and pressing the OK. And from here, I gotta press read and now you're gonna see how is that happening. So I'm pressing the read, taking my Mayfair card and pressing it here. And this is what we see. So if it was successful, you'll hear that signal and also you'll see uh, the card number displayed in here. And from now on, we can add, we can save. And also we need to kind of designate, kind of mark uh, the device and tie it uh, the, yeah, bend it, bend it to our user, bend the device with a user. So uh, this is what we're gonna do right now. Yeah, the residential information and a bend tab, we attach a, a monitor, room one, call one, yeah, depending on what you need, of course. And pressing add, fantastic, fantastic. And so now what we need is to upload this new information applied into the R panel. So now we gotta go to the access control tab. And from here we need the access group tab. Uh, what we need, we need to create a few rules. We need to create a few rules. Uh, so yeah, now in here we press add, select company and a person in it and select a station tied to the door. So yeah, KD803 and press, uh, yeah, and uh, the door one access name on that right and I press save. There you go, we see the status is to be applied. So yeah, uh, we save and close and there we, pre there we pick it and press apply to all devices. We see the pop up is the progress bar. There we go, and now where is it out of my screen? All right, that's weird, but anyways, it all just was just applied. So we have actually uh, done. Yep, we have actually done with the uh, card. And what about a user password? Everything is a lot simpler. We return to the maintenance and management while the device is tapped. And now we're gonna go into our monitor, exactly to our monitor. Press this cog button. Go into the intercom and pick the permission password tab. Password type will be unlocking password and a new password one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, just to be to make it simpler. All right, and saving. And well, that's actually all we need to do. Now let's check that. So the monitor, the door phone, and two modules up here. And here's my Mifair card. So yeah, I'm pressing it to this area. The door is open. And we hear that the notification says that the door is open. And now the password is a simple two. So number sign, one, two, six. There we go, a number sign. The door is open. And you hear, got it open too. And now I'm gonna set the devices to the factory settings and show you the second way from a scratch. So, uh, and that'll be how to enroll a password with no PC software straight from the monitor screen itself. So again to the settings, go into the additionals, go into configuration, access the admin panel with the uh, Factory password, which is the three eights and three nines, pressing OK. And I was wrong. Eight, 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 nine, nine, nine. All right. So, oh, yeah, I may have modified it earlier. Yeah, I may have modified it earlier. But from a box, from the box, it will be three eights and three nines. And um, here I'm going to do it. Final tab and play and restore all oh, and yeah there we go. But well the panel I can only reset it from the IVMS 4200s. But then you'll see the inactive status in here with it too. So you see I got it reset it yeah because uh, it asks me it requires me to create a password and this is what I'm do creating a password from a scratch. So uh, the standard password I'm using every time for every single video having a one. Uh, having some numbers and having the capitalized one letter. All right, people. All right, okay. 
uh, selecting the English and also uh, pressing here the DHCP button. I've already disclosed why am I pressing this to well to obtain the IP address in my subnet. But well, you can find uh, the detailed guide in the uh, activation video for this panel for this monitor and the link to it I've left in the description down in the video. Uh, now. As I've obtained, you see it changed to my subnet 1680, 1680 here too. I'm pressing next. Indoor station, this means that our monitor will be a main device. Pressing next. And here you can see that the panel KDATO3-IME1 is inactivated. So what we're gonna do now, activate it right here from the monitor, activate succeeded they say press the cog button and of course the DHCP again and now you can see there was a zero subnet in there but now it obtained the address in our network so it's fantastic 168 0 and 111 fantastic and I finish and now I can do this there we go there we go and also i suppose yeah the panel is going to reboot right now to apply all the new settings in it right now so we press it not gonna call all right oh so it naturally reboots this time okay okay that's very good but yeah you can expect that can expect that it can reboot to apply all the settings i don't know why does it not happens this time but anyway and now uh, we need to set up the password. So we're going to settings, we're going to additional, uh, yeah, going to here, and a password, and the unlock password, and let it be 111, 111 this time. 111, 111. Yeah, fantastic. Pressing OK. Password settings succeeded. Returning to the main screen. And now, number sign, one, two. What? No. Uh, number sign one 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 one. The door is open. Door is open, and also uh, this time I cannot uh, enter by the Mifir card. There you see, there's no sign because, well, yeah, I rebooted, I restored all the factory settings on this panel on this module, and again, just to make sure. The door is open. There we go. And again, like you well it's actually such a pity we cannot do everything that easy to well enroll the Mayfair card but still but still it is amazingly simple with this and now let's conclude let's sum the whole thing up so what I want to say I like the system for that how simple and intuitive everything is made here I mean you don't have to be an experienced installer or a technical engineer to understand the thing because Everything here is very simple from, from connection to configuration, which is a very easier in compared to many other manufacturers. Plus, on top of that, there is a flexibility of the system with a might with a wide <laughs> module selection for a variety of tasks that fit perfectly into your idea and your vision of the project. In the vehicle system store, we have a wide selection of these modules and not that only, but also an alarm systems, IP cameras and many other devices, brands. And if you indicate that you are a subscriber, we will make a more interesting offer for you. So uh, need help, questions, descriptions of your tasks are always welcome in the comment section below the video and not a single one will go unanswered. Thank you for watching.